Hi, in this video I'll show you how to use the choose function. So what the choose function does is given some kind of number, what they call here an index number, it would return a value from a list of arguments. So what does that mean? Let's say we have our choose function here. I'm going to just type in choose, right? Press tab. And if I gave it an index number, let's say I put the number here. I'm just, just going to select this cell. So anything that I put in cell E20, the first index number value it will correspond to value one let's just make this apples I have to put it in quotes because it's a string and the second value could be orange oops quote and the third value could be pear all right and then close parentheses then put in a formula text function here so we can see what we're looking at so we have our choose function here right so if I put in the number one and press enter, it's going to first choose the first value here. If I put number two, the second value, and number three, the third value. So if I put number two, we have apples, number two, I mean number one, we have apples, number two, we have orange, and number three, it has pear. So it operates almost like a, an if function. If, if the value here is one, choose apples. If the value here is two, choose orange. If the value here is three, choose pear. So the choose function in a way is a more quicker way to do an if statement. How can we use this? Let's say for example we have a calendar year and we want to find out what date falls in a quarter. What we can do is use the choose function to do that. Let's say I have 1 1 2017. Of course 1 1 2017 is going to fall into the first quarter. I can create a function here to make it fall into the first quarter. So I'm going to type choose and then based on uh, this value and what we're looking at is the month so let me first go and get the month from here so we do month and bring that date in and that is the first month you can see one is copied down here because this is a table and one of the neat things about a table is once you enter a formula it copies it down we're going to see that this is in the first month and one corresponds to that if I put in two 1 2017 it's going to create number 2 here. I'm going to type 3 1 2017 and select this and just copy it down so it kind of fills out. Let me copy it as far as it goes to uh, December. Double click to auto fit that. You can see that the months filled out quite nicely here but we want to base our quarter on uh, the month. So what we want to do here is we want to base our quarter on the month. Let me call this one month and I'll just kind of build it out first so we can see how this gets built out. And I'm going to type quarter here. And once I type quarter, the table auto fits that, that column. When I want to get a quarter, I want to make sure that 1, 2, and 3 are in quarter 1, 4, 5, and 6 are in quarter 2, 7, 8, 9 is quarter 3, 10, 11, 12 is quarter 4. So what I need to do is type in the choose function, choose. So I'm going to get the index number from this month here, right? So once it picks up the index number one, I want it to say Q1, Q1 for number one, and also number two, the second place, Q1, and then the third place, Q1, right? Now that's one, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven. It's going to be Q2. I'm just going to copy this and change it later to Q2. Control C to copy, bring it over here, and then just change that to Q2, 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 and for six, four, seven, eight, nine, that's going to be Q3. And I see I copied it over. I'm going to change that to Q3, Q3, and then Q3, and do the same thing for Q4. Control V to copy that since I had that in my clipboard. This becomes Q4, Q4 and Q4. All right, get rid of that comma, close parentheses, press enter, and now you'll see the magic happen. So of course we have our 12 arguments here that correspond to the 12 months in a calendar year. And we chose the corresponding quarters for that month. So that's, that's the way that we can use the choose function. There's also many other ways that we can use the choose function. But in a office environment, this is maybe something that you want to create. Uh, you want to figure out what quarter you're in based on these dates. So that's the choose function. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.